So the game we all had marked on our calendars that season was against the Florida Gators. Of course, you mm -hmm. along with Pro Throw, Keith Brown, DJ Hall, y'all just dismantled the Gators. Yeah. What led to that beat down? And be honest, y'all already knew that was going to happen, right? We, you never have those weeks of practice, Marvin. You're like, remember those weeks of practice where you go, we can do anything we want this week. Like, Oh, everything's yeah. clicking your timing's clicking uh you feel so confident in your game plan you've heard just about all the chatter you want to hear about how good the other team is and then the other team starts chiming in on how good they are and they don't even acknowledge that you're playing and they're coming into your house and then you walk out on the field and that was the most electric field i've ever played on before it ever even happened. I mean, the stadium's full during warm-ups. Like, you can just feel it. And then that first play of the game happens where um, we ran, what was that? Deuce right jam. Yeah, deuce. No, deuce left jam, stutter pass right, seam 408. And we had practiced that play all week. And uh, we always hit the end cut because their safety always got super deep. And so, anyway, we run the play. And their safety, for whatever reason, jumped the jumped the end cut. It's a two man route, so now it's pro one on one versus their best corner. But man, we like our matchup with pro, and it was one of those you let it go. And I mean, if if you watch the film, as soon as I let it go, I just put both hands in the air. Guys, like that's it. That's like it. It's, <laughs> and it was still to this day the loudest I've ever heard that stadium. And I mean, it, it, there was 80,000 people there because it was back when they were building the new one and had half of it torn down. And from that point on, we couldn't call a play that didn't work. Like, I promise oh, you, yeah. it's almost like you could have closed your eyes and just went, let's call that play. And like, <laughs> it was just one of those days that you're just unbeatable. And, uh, but man, what a, I, I say this for, for our class, you know, it was something that, man, we endured probation. Uh, we might have been one of the last classes that went because it was the University of Alabama, if we're just being honest. I mean, yeah. we, we knew what was coming, and we went anyway. And so to have that game and then to cap it off, went in the Cotton Bowl, you know, you go 10-2 and two and you ended up, whatever we were, sixth or eighth in the country, <clears throat> you'd have thought we won the national championship because of everything <laughs> we had been through. You know, I'd just about get you fired at this point in time. It's like, what, right? what happened? <laughs> but, you know, it for our group, uh, I think that that's something that to this day, when I see Roman or Miko or whoever it might be, it's something that we're all proud of. <laughs>